Okay. Okay, what's your name? David. Okay, David, I have a question for you. Would you consider yourself to be a good person? Uh, yes. So according to your standard, you're a good person. What about according to God's standard? Do you think you're a good person? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess so. Do you know what God's standard is? No. So in the Bible, it says that God's standard is the Ten Commandments. Have you heard of the Ten Commandments? No. So the Ten Commandments are things that Moses, in the Old Testament, got from God, and they were commandments saying, don't lie, don't steal, don't commit adultery, don't murder. Do you think you've kept the Ten Commandments or broken them? I broke them in such, such a way. Have you lied? Yep. So have I. But the Bible says that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire, which is a scary thing to us because it doesn't make sense. It's just a lie. But God is so holy that he really has that high standard of what justice is and what goodness is. Have you ever hated someone? Yep. Now, hating someone, Jesus said that whoever hates his brother is a murderer. That's pretty scary, right? Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. That's like heightening the standard once more. Have you ever... Uh, taking something that doesn't belong to you. Yep. Now, God says that it doesn't matter the amount that we take, it's the fact that we took it, right? He has that high standard. Now, we've went through some of the Ten Commandments, and you said you probably haven't kept them. Are you sure now that you haven't kept them? Yes. So, according to God's standard, do you think you should be innocent or guilty of breaking God's law? Guilty. Now, what do you think God should do with a guilty person? Uh, send them to hell. Do you think that's just? Yep. It is just because we've broken God's law and the punishment for sin is death and hell, which the Bible says. Does that scare you? No. Does that concern you at all? Nope. Because you don't believe it? Nope. Now, if it's true, you'd be heading for hell. The Bible says that God doesn't want anyone to perish, but yet he set Jesus to die on the cross to take the punishment that we deserve for our sins against God. Have you heard that before? Yes. Now, Jesus took that punishment upon himself. We deserve help for our sins against God, and what God commands us to do today is repent, which means turn from sin and trust in Jesus. Now, you said you heard this before. What is holding you back from trusting in Jesus? Mm, I consider myself uh, awesome. Satan's child. Satan's child? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Uh, I, w I was always a hell racer when I was younger. So you did bad things when you were young. You were always causing trouble. Well, the Bible says that not only can we be forgiven for the things we do in our past, but they also, he also says that we can be forgiven present and future because of what Jesus did. Have you heard that? No. Now, see, we might do the bad things in our past, and we are really guilty because we've broken God's law. See, we may, we may feel guilty our whole lives, but yet Jesus took that guilt upon himself so we can be free. Not because Jesus, God just said, you can go free, because that wouldn't be just, but he sent Jesus to take that punishment. Now, what would hold you back for trusting in Jesus today? I just didn't really, really believe in God to begin with. So you would consider yourself to be an atheist? Not really an atheist, just... Agnostic? Agnostic. So you don't know? Well, here, the Bible says that man knows he exists, but he suppresses that truth in unrighteousness. See, we all do wrong, that's why we're unrighteous. And we don't want God because we love our sin. Do you think that could be an answer to your question? Now, the Bible says that we've all broken God's law, but we suppress that truth, and that's why we don't want to believe him. Do you have any questions about God? No, I don't. No. Now, I just encourage you today to think this thing's true, because if it's true, you admitted to yourself you'd be going to hell, but Jesus died on the cross for your forgiveness. Are you going to think about this today? Yes. I, I so appreciate the conversation, and, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much.